Ladies and gentlemen, now for official introduction, the fighter fighting out of the red corner, weighed in at 80. He's 23, stands 6-1. He fights out of Matsumura Academy and hails from Manchester, Ash Shemel. And his opponent fighting out of the blue corner, weighed in at 80. He's 36, stands 6 tall. He fights out of Sheffield, shoot fighters and hills from Barnsley, Damien Haig. Your referee, Mr. Simon Studnitsky. My 80 kilogram catchweight contest up next. Ash Schmel fighting out of the Matsuma Academy, making his debut. He's in the red corner. The black tatami trunks trimmed with yellow as he takes on Damien Haig from Sheffield shoot, Sheffield shoot fighters. The Nike Pro black shorts with white trim. Both these athletes making their debut. Shamal just getting out to a decent start with the kicks. And he's got Haig running forward. The range belongs to Shemol, and uh, he's looking great with oh. it. But beautiful drop on the low single there by Haig. Gets his man to the floor, and you can just see Shemol trying to scoot across. I but thought he was chasing the gear team for a moment. I'll see. You, you gotta know when to let it go. And we've got Haig on top now, but yeah, a few decent shots, so now it's uh, payback time. He, yeah, he certain, again, he looks he looks the more physical of the two, but... but look at Shemmel climbing for the yeah. armbar there, gets turned off, two beautiful pass there, but keeps the head, gets oh. the rollover to another reversal. And we've got Haig back on top in guard. Very nice, but fact is, Jamel's going to be threatening from the uh, bottom He's got there. the armbar. He's got the, got arm the armbar. There. He's belly got belly down. down. This is going to be over. No, steps you out. Beautiful by Haig. Just a sheer grit to yeah. pull out there. And then powers it out straight. But that's the thing, Jamel. Oh, stood up and met that big shot. But great balance there. Is Haig tried to ragdoll him to the mat. But Jamel manages to get back to the cage. Shemel just uh, gets his feet swept away from him as Haig takes him for a ride. And he's going to crest up against the fence here if he wanted to unload some shots. Now will be the time to do it. But Shemel doing well with the uh, the overhook there. And, and it's, it's going to keep Haig, Haig honest with that. He, he no threatened from the, from the guard for bringing yeah. up high, maybe looking to threaten for the triangle with the arm again. I see, you know, and it and, and, and isn't just being pure luck. He's gone to set that no, armbar up twice. Yep. It's definitely something that's in his arsenal that he's comfortable with, but gets stuck there no. and Haig straight to the back, but no hook it up. Oh. Managed to finish it. He's and gone under. He's gone under. Can't see if he's under there, but it looks... It looks a little tiny bit off-centre, and you can just see Shemmel pushing oh. the elbow. But man, is he putting some, that looks uncomfortable. Big grimace there, but rolls in and sure. survives. But this is the case of the frying pan into the fire. 22 seconds left. And you got a big, strong Damien Hick on yeah. top here looking to and look throw at those down legs shots. there by Shemmel. Just kind of came on the outside, oh. needed to come on the underside. Some big ground and pound getting through to see the end of this round out. Beautiful right on there by Haig. And we're going to see a round two. Absolutely, but you know, on the ground, Haig's still going to have to mind his P's and Q's and pay a yeah. little respect. And you see there, Shemmel just getting out, using that range, getting out to a good start and really putting the world of panic in Haig until Haig finds that low single. And then a lot going on. Yeah, who threatened that for that arm a couple of times, yeah. went belly down there, didn't get the tap, and we we, we finished the round with Haig. Yeah, Haig, a One failed attempt in. on the rear naked choke, a failed attempt on the arm bar for Schemmel, and Haig just finishing on top, the top with some solid strikes. But Schemmel started the round. Yeah. With, yeah that's a... And on the ground, there were a lot of give and take, a lot of back and forth. Yeah, I tell you, it smarter, wasn't one way or the other. Smarter heads than mine. Seconds are cleared. Pretty powerfully built, 80 kilogram. Yeah. Athlete yeah. here, you know, 
see if the pace and the effort is going to take a toll on the, the gas tank or the cardio. Beautiful leg kick there by Shevon just to open up. Both men waiting a little bit. It was some Whoa. nice right hand over the and top. And the crowd responded to yeah. that. They had a nice ooh And from another. The... And He's another. landing that right yeah, at will. Yeah, right now can't miss with that right hand. But drops under for the takedown, but into the guard of Schemmeld again. And well, this is where it got complicated last time. Absolutely. But they are a little bit uh, sweatier. Yeah, a little more tired as well. Yep. But he, towards the end of that first round, had a really good position, was starting to. Yep. So it's all on Schmel to. To do something. Keep, get he, keep he going, yeah. honestly. There, continue to threaten and look for the sweeper transition. Yes. But you don't want to, you do not want this, this big, strong athlete getting a dominant position and being able to rain down shots. Oh, no, not at all, but foot on the hip there from Schemold, and he's looking, he's fighting for that triangle. Opts for a few cheeky little strikes from the back there, but and even there, looking to push the arm across for a head and arm from the underside. It's, uh, I mean, after I saw, um, oh, I forgot her looking. name, but she finished a standing head and arm choke, so I'll never say that a head and arm choke's only for top position, though. No. Yeah. I mean, that, oh, has he thrown the himself in? No, oh. lovely. Now, again. Into mount. With a minute and 20 yes. seconds left to work, and this is where he did his best work last night. However, Schmel had, smells right out in the open. He's not going to be able to kick off the fence. He <laughs> landed a nice shot. That's probably one of the best right hands I've ever seen from, from someone underneath. on the bottom mount before. <laughs> Still not very effective, but he, he landed clean. Well, he's not he's not observing any damage at the moment. No. Nope. And looking and he's maybe to try and the sneak. balance, oh. but here we go. That's the problem when you try and play that rolling game in Mount Bottom. Well, you do offer your back. Both hooks in now. Now you're gonna see Shemmel just address the hands right now. Couple of nice little digs from Haig there. Looking to come on top. This oh, is not a good position for Schemmel right he's now. He's so strong, is Haig, that... But he's let go of the hooks. That could have been a huge mistake there. And Smelt's going to survive again, you figure. Yeah. Oh, Beautiful yeah. right hand there by Haig. Just as the round came to an end. They've worked quite hard over these six minutes. Now, this was the problem. He had the back. He got him flattened out and then let go of the hooks. And, and if he'd have kept the hooks in there and just pulled, he would have lengthened his man out and finished. Obviously, we didn't see it in the replay then, but he got his man belly down with the hooks in and, and, and then let go of the hooks. And you don't know whether that's just like a question a bit, of fatigue and experience. Or a bit of experience again, yeah. you know. Making their debut. Yeah, but even if, you know, Shemmel will fight the hands as he should have done, you have all the leverage there. They've stopped the fight. Retired on Haig the said something to the referee before his corner came in. And I don't know what he said. I don't really want to kind of put words in his no, mouth, like, but he didn't look in a great way. Certainly struggling. Yeah. Looks like he's struggling for air. Struggling Keeps to pointing to his right side. Broken maybe. rib, maybe. Do you know, and this is the thing with grappling exchanges, close, you know, pressure and stuff. Sometimes, and you saw with uh, Stevie Ray yeah. against Pettis, yeah. with the modified twister, it was the ribs that went. It wasn't necessarily broken ribs. I think it was the, ri Just the wrist dislocated. Yeah. yeah. Well, unpleasant. Has to retire on the stool in between rounds. Let's turn this one over to Mr. Seth Khan to make the result. Official.
Ladies and gentlemen, after the second round, your referee, Mr. Simon Stadnitsky, calls a stop to the fight due to the fighter unable to continue after sustaining an injury. Your winner in the red corner, Ash Shemmel. Please show your appreciation for Damien Haig.